Hello everyone, George and Ron here in our garage, sitting in our golf cart, waiting to go on neighborhood patrol. But we do have a few minutes, so we thought we'd take this opportunity to answer a few of your questions that you guys have been sending us. So, with that being said, Ron. Yes, George. Shut your phone off when we do these things. Ron. Well, we got four more hits on YouTube. <laughs> But let's take our first caller. <laughs> well, who do we have on the line, Ron? It's, what does that say? Alex. 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 Alex, what is your question? I would like to know how long you all been in business. Well, that's a very interesting question, Alex. Uh, Ron, would you like to take that one? Well, I guess I can. Um, Alex, now we started, uh, we've been in business for 18 years um, and five years here in Florida. Um, so, you know, we're very, very educated on what we do. We like the lawn, landscaping, the lawn care. Oh, you shit. And that's educated? why we're still... Well, uh, that's why we're still cutting grass because we're so we're educated. Cutting, yes. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Yeah, you really handled that one. I'm not going to be giving you any anytime <laughs> soon. Just sit here. All right. Well, well thanks for the call, Alex. We appreciate that. <laughs> oh, you welcome, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, now for our next caller. Let's see. His name is John. John, you're on the line live with George and Ron. <laughs> hey, fellas, what's going on? Just about everything, John. How are you? Oh, I'm great, man. I feel so much better to be able to talk to you fellas. John, what's your question? Well, I want to know, is it hard to run two separate businesses in two different states? Well... George, you take that. All right, I will, Ron. You know, I mean, you are the boss, so... And, and I do run them in both states, yes, so that's you why you gave it to me that, and the fact you mangled the first one. Well, I did. That wasn't a very good answer. <sighs> well, here's the drill with that. It's very difficult. Um, when we started out back in Wisconsin, it was hard enough just to keep your business going there. But as you learn to do things and learn to learn the tricks of the trade, it gets easier and easier, and before you know it, your business gets bigger and bigger. So we decided to come down to Florida, get a business going here. We can pretty much work year round versus the eight months in Wisconsin. So is it hard to run? Yes, it is. Um, a lot of things that we had to do. Uh, I mean, for, for example, Ron was my right hand man up in Wisconsin. And now he's down here in Florida running the business here. So that it, in a way, it took away a lot of, a lot of my help up, up north. But if we hadn't have made that move, we wouldn't even have this business in Florida right now because I was going through managers down here like water, like people change their underwear, you know? Well, I don't even know if that's a good way to say it because a lot of people don't change their underwear. Often. A lot of people don't. Especially down here. I know. So, but anyway, I think uh, it can, certainly can be done. We've done it and we make a decent living at it. And uh, But it's hard, man. It's a lot of hard work, and uh, but it can be done. That's the answer to that question. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Well, you're welcome. But we have to get on to the next caller. The next caller is Jeff. And Jeff wants to know... Let's see. Well, let me see if I can get Jeff on the line. Jeff, are you there? <laughs> hey, guys. What's going on? How much, Jeff? How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. Well, that's good, Jeff. What's your question? Well, I'd like to know, what's your favorite type of equipment? Well, that's a pretty generic statement. Ron, do you like to handle that one? Well, um, our favorite kind. I mean, when it comes to, uh, like, your trimmers, your uh, weed whackers, so to speak, um, we use Husqvarna's. They're light. They're easy. They're somewhat, sometimes, if you get into some real thick stuff, you know, there might be at times be a little bit underpowered, 
but I'll tell you what, it it you you can use them a lot longer than you can and I, I, like a steel. They're just just a lot a lot lighter. They're easier to control. The lighter being light was right. the biggest key for those things. Yes, they didn't and really lack power. I mean, they I thought no, they're, they're just adequate. a little bit. Yeah, they're very very adequate. To, you know, we, we use the two twenty three. Yeah, about two twenty three L. I think it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. okay. And you know, like with the blowers, now we did downsize our blowers. We used the Echo, I believe they're two twenty fives. Right. And uh, they're like almost ten pounds lighter than the big ones. They're like one hundred and seventy five mile an hour um, blowers, um, but they're they're a lot lighter. I think they weigh like thirteen pounds full of gas. Versus, versus the, the bigger Echo blowers, and I believe they're like 24 or 26 pounds full of gas. So, I mean, you know, carry them around all day long, and it makes a big difference at the end of the day. Right. And, and I know we've heard from a lot of different guys that, oh, we don't, why don't you use the big ones, this, that, and the other. We did use the big ones. But those things are so freaking heavy. I mean, to take yeah. them around all day, yeah, they move a lot of shit, but, <coughs> I mean, they're, they're so damn heavy. Yeah. Yeah, you know? they are. They're just easier to, you know, I mean, the smaller ones are just easier. You can lift them with one hand and grab it and pull start it, and you're good to go to where a lot of the other ones, uh, they're just, you know, and we're older, so. Right. Well, a little bit. <laughs> a little yeah. bit older. A little bit yeah. older. Not much, not, not much. That right. Was, so we, we use the, yeah. the Echoes for uh, their 265. 265s. 265s, yeah. 265s, yeah. And then on the Edgers, <clears throat> we use the Echo 225 yeah. Edgers, and we like those. They seem to have plenty of power. Yeah. And they've been a good runner for us, so very few of, problems. We haven't actually. I don't think we've had any problems with them at all. Right. And as far as mowers go, uh, I know a lot of you guys know we, we're into our Gravelys. We love the Gravelys. We use the stand-on ones. We also mm -hmm. have the riders. Um, we get we run sixty-inch riders, uh, fifty-two-inch riders. Um, what was that last one we picked up? Uh, was that, that was a fifty-two-inch. Is that fifty-two yeah. also? Yeah. And then, uh, of course, we have the 36-inch stand-ons because we pretty much have to have that down here in Florida because, especially for residential, because everybody's got a 36-inch gate yeah. for the most part. So we at least can get into every lawn in the backyards with these things. That's why we have those. Yeah. So hopefully that'll answer your question there, Jeff. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, fellows. That was awesome. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. No problem, man. All right, so now our next one is... Let's see, Veronica. Hmm. Let's see if I can get her on the line. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can. Hello, fellas. Well, hello. How are you? Oh, I'm fine now that I'm talking to you boys. Damn right you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your question? Well... I just wanted to know, what's your average growth per year? Average growth per year. Ah, uh, boy. How do you, how do you put that in there? Well, I, well, I'll put it to you this way. From, for the last three years in Florida, we had a new truck every year. So, you know, and if each truck is, you know, responsible I mean most most of the time we try to keep it at around 100 to 120 jobs per truck and we grow pretty rapidly down here up yeah. north I don't we don't grow as much up north just because uh, you know we're more into the landscaping than the lawn care up north and I mean we still do the lawn care but by far landscaping is, is a lot more of our trade up north so hopefully that'll answer the question unless you had anything else to add well, it is. It's hard to put a percentage on it, actually, because of the simple fact, like you say, every year you, you put on a truck. So, I mean, what did we start with? Seventy-five customers or something, and you know, I mean, every year since then we add a add a truck. So you got to gain at least a hundred. We've gained a hundred customers per year at an average. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully that answers your question. Oh, it does, fellas. And now I can sleep at night because I got to talk to you two. Beautiful man. Arr. Well, thanks, Veronica. We appreciate yeah. that. Ron and that boy. boy. I know we're good looking gents. Yeah. And we appreciate hearing it from the rest of the world. Thank you. Boy, she had a nice voice. Oh, oh she's oh, sexy. Just, that that was keep sexy. her number. You, you put her number, all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll have to talk about her later. Maybe. We will. So I all got right. a question or two for her. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start with the 
phone number. You might just get your phone number. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see. Uh, okay. Ooh. This one is from Eric. And let's see if I can get Eric on the line. Hey, Eric, you're on the line. Hey there, fellas. How's it going? It's going great, man. How are you? Well, I'm damn well better now that I'm talking to you fellas. You two are the smartest son of bitches on the internet. Well, thanks, man. That's yeah, awesome. Thanks. We appreciate oh, that. Oh, we do. Oh. We really do. I mean, well, we think the world of you guys, mm -hmm. too, man. You're awesome. But what's your question? <laughs> how, how much success has you fellas had with door hangers? <laughs> Well, Ron, would you like to take that one, seeing how I'm a little bit out of breath? Well, yeah. Well, I understand, because you are taking all the calls, so it's a little hard, you know. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, uh, door hangers, they, they do, no matter what, they're your lowest percentage of getting any customers, I honestly believe. But um, we usually do probably 1%, so, you know, uh, uh, at an average. So if you put 1,000 out, you're getting 1% of that. Yeah, I mean, well, to simplify it, if you put yeah. out 100, well, you yeah. would think... Well, let's say 1% of 100 would be, let's see, um, how do you figure that? I'm not sure. I thought you was a genius here. I am. 1% of I don't even know if I have a thing on my phone for that. Hold on. I do. Well, I, th I think we got one, one, oh, nope, 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 back. 100 10%. times one, ah, there's, there's no percent. Oh. Well, well, that'd be 10 calls. No, that'd be 10%. One call. One call out of 100. <laughs> if you put out 10 flyers, that's one. 10%. That's one percent. Yeah, that's 10 calls. That would be one. Wouldn't it? Yeah. So if you put out 100, 1% 1 would be one. Would be one. One call per 100. Yeah, one, one per 100, and that is our final yeah. answer. Yeah. And they don't call us genius for enough. Damn straight. Well, thank you, fellas. You sure are smart. <laughs> we know. I don't know. Whatever.